Hey, thank you so much for commenting and interacting with my content. So I am a theologically conservative Christian who wants to have virtuous dialogue between people who disagree, and I want to be able to mediate discussions between the people I agree with and the people that I disagree with to the best of my ability, and this seems like a perfect opportunity to do that. So with all that said, there will be some notes in the video because I can't address everything, but I would like to address a particular point, which is that I am wrong about what the Bible says about homosexuality. So what was really helpful to me was this paper, which is written by Andrew Harshman, who is actually a affirming Christian. In this paper, he analyzes several different texts throughout the Bible that have been used to condemn homosexuality, and he analyzes several different arguments that have been put forward by both non-affirming and affirming Christians in order to see what arguments and interpretations are the best. Now again, as mentioned, he is a affirming Christian. But even he would agree that the best interpretation of Romans chapter 1, for example, is the created order interpretation, the one that would say that Paul is condemning homosexuality as being against the created order. As you can see here, he relies on the Jewish context of the day, both Philo and Josephus. He also relies on the fact that Paul is borrowing language from the Greek Septuagint translation of Genesis 1 through 3. And in doing so, he is hearkening back to creation with the kinds of things that he says. To add one more piece of evidence, think about what Jesus says. When Jesus talks about divorce, he said that the law of divorce was given in the Mosaic law because of the hardness of Moses' heart. But from the beginning, it was not so. This means that, at least for Jesus, there are times where we need to go back to the created order, even if it subverts the Mosaic law. So my point here is that when you look at Romans chapter 1 in relation to the Greek Septuagint and Paul's Jewish context when it comes to Jesus, for example, uh, Philo and Josephus, when they specifically talk about homosexuality, they all agree that it's ultimately a problem because it goes against the created order. And Philo and Josephus would, and particularly Josephus, would mention that it goes against the Mosaic law. Now, I am willing to be wrong about this, and I am reading other articles that understand Romans chapter 1 differently. But to me, I thought it was really interesting that even a affirming Christian argues that this interpretation is the best interpretation of Romans 1. And the affirming interpretations of Romans 1 just don't seem to work. Feel free to let me know your thoughts.